good morning. Uh, today we're going to uh, find the derivative of f of x equals 1 over x plus 1 by uh, the, defin the limit definition of the derivative in generic form. That's the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So we'll begin by writing the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 divided by, and I'm going to put an x plus h everywhere I have an x in the original function, so x plus h plus 1, don't forget the plus 1, minus f of x, which is just 1 over x plus 1, all divided by h. I now have a compound fraction. In order to continue uh, this process, I need to make a simple fraction. And to do that, I am going to multiply by 1 in the form of the common denominator of the numerators of the, uh, the numerator of the compound fraction over uh, itself, over the same thing. So in this case, the common denominator of the numerator is just the product of the denominators. So that would be x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1 divided by x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. Um, by multiplying, even though it doesn't look like 1, it is 1, the value is 1. By multiplying this expression by 1, we do not change its value, though we do change its appearance. As we distribute this product through this numerator here, the first term, first expression, the x plus h plus 1, will drop out we'll be left with the limit as h goes to 0. Uh, the x plus h plus 1 cancels out. We're left with x plus 1. I'm going to leave that minus there in some parentheses because I don't want to forget to distribute that negative 1. Uh, when I multiply this term, this expression by this product, the x plus 1's cancel this time and I'm left with x plus h plus 1 all divided by h times x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. Uh, in the next step, or here, don't be tempted to expand this denominator. Uh, it's already in factored form. That's the way we want it. In general, you want things in factored form. There are certain cases where you don't, but in the when you're taking the uh, derivative by definition, you want to leave it in factored form. At least, in my experience, you do. Uh, so we have the limit as x approaches 0. Um, before I continue, it also notice how I've, I uh, maintain the limit expression in, in, until I, fi I will finally take the limit in a second. But until I do, I keep writing it. Uh, some people choose to do this the difference quotient, simplifying the difference quotient first, and then take the, uh, the limit at the end. You can just remember what you're doing. Uh, so the numerator becomes x plus h, uh, sorry, x plus 1 minus x minus h minus 1 over h times x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. Notice the numerator terms will cancel, and they should if you uh, end up when you cancel, uh, simplify the numerator uh, and you're left with anything without an H attached to it, uh, something's wrong, go back, check, do, see, see what's going on. Uh, we have uh, the X's cancel, X minus X is zero, one minus one is zero, and we're left with negative H in the numerator. So we have the limit as H approaches zero, of negative h divided by h times x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. Uh, notice the h is now cancel. A 0 is not left. A 1 is left. I've seen that mistake before is why I mention it. Uh, still haven't taken the limit. I'm just rewriting it. So we have the limit as h goes to 0 
of negative 1 divided by x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1 h is the only thing going to zero, so it's the only term in this part that you're going to look at. Here's the h. As it goes to zero, it is zero. So the pressure, I've taken the limit now. So the expression becomes negative one divided by x plus one. There is no h anymore. It went to zero times x plus one. Technically, that's derivative, but we like to simplify things. It just looks better. And and later we'll take this by uh, rules and we'll get the same answer. But the final answer is negative, the derivative of, of one over x plus one is negative one over x plus one quantity squared. Okay, thanks.